and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a highlighting and contouring video 101 it's going to be super quick and easy and we're going to be using mostly fenty beauty products also we have konya candy body lava okay so we're going to be you know we're going to be trying it out at the end of the video so make sure you stay tuned for that okay you already saw the glisten at the beginning of the video so yeah i am so excited to show you guys how quick and easy i highlight and contour my face you know if this is your first time watching the beat welcome and if this is not your first time you already know what it is okay don't forget to like comment subscribe and put that bell on for notifications let's get into the video so today we're gonna be doing a contour 101 video and I really really wanted to incorporate the Fenty Beauty newest shades of their matchsticks ebony and caviar and I ordered ebony because I usually use espresso which this used to be the darkest shade y'all and then they brought out ebony right below this and then caviar and I purchased from Sephora ebony but they sent me caviar now I know caviar is going to be too dark uh, Nima Tang is using this to contour with so I'm not even going to try it but I'm just going to film this video for you, y'all. And we're just going to use that Fenty Beauty matchstick some other time. Because at this point, I really can't be bothered. Like COVID-19 time. Listen, it's not like if I could just go to the store and exchange this. I have to mail it back to them. I'm going to repurchase it at some other time. But the silver lining for this video is I did get the body lava okay so we have cognac candy so we're gonna do contour 101 i'm gonna show you with products that i already have and then we're gonna be using cognac candy i really want to compare it this is who needs clothes look at how different they are i'm a little bummed that i can't use ebony but i'm sending caviar right back to sephora like ain't nobody got time okay and we're gonna do a pretty basic face i really want the skin okay the base is what we want to really like play up today so how have you guys been holding up let me know let me know down in the comments like has coronavirus just like taken over your whole life are you anxious you know you know what are your feelings because for me um i have been going to work like normal um only last week have i been working every other day only from this week actually i've been working every other day um i just feel like this time has really shown you you know what com how companies feel about their employees and how seriously they're taking everything um i think when everything started to happen in italy is when we really sat back and was like oh damn we need to take this seriously and i feel like some places are still not taking it seriously but you know Honestly, I'm just trying to stay prayed up, okay? I'm like, Jesus, take the wheel. Literally. You know, I'm praying. I know that this too shall pass. Trying to cultivate an even closer walk with God because I feel like times like this, as a Christian, you just need to get your affairs in order, you know? And this is like truly a wake up call. But anyway, I'm gonna finish this real quick and I'll be back to do my foundation. All right, y'all, I'm back, burn lashes and all. <laughs> so we're gonna be using Fenty Beauty Pool Filter Foundation in 450, and I am going to just color correct a little bit. So this is the Fenty Beauty Concealer, and this is the shade 450. So I'm gonna be using this shade just to color correct, and then the foundation shade for the rest of my face. And to blend this out, I'm using the e.l.f. Beauty Sponge. I really, really like this e.l.f. Beauty Sponge. So when you use concealer like this, um, that means you wouldn't have to use as much foundation. And in those areas, I just wanna give myself a little bit more coverage. Okay, so now I'm going in with my foundation. And this sponge is pretty damp. So Fenty Beauty Foundation, I would say it gives like medium coverage. Um, definitely medium coverage. It is buildable, but you know, if you use the concealer, 
that is your skin tone or your color correcting shade before you put your foundation on then you're not gonna need as much of the foundation itself okay everything is blended after I've blended out my foundation I want to go in with my highlighting concealer and this is in the shade 400 so basically I went two to three shades lighter but still in a golden uh, undertone golden peachy undertone and I usually do dots down my nose that's just easier for me <laughs> when I try to draw a line it never works out oh there's a curve right here I like to put some on my cupid's bow on my forehead I would be using ebony but I ordered from Sephora and they sent caviar and I can't use caviar so this is ebony so I just want to put a little bit, right? Do you all see ebony? Ebony is not that dark. I can't believe I kept saying ebony, y'all. It's definitely espresso for me. But what I'm going to do is just when we set it with the powder, you're going to see, you know, it's going to deepen up some. So then I'm going to go in with my damp sponge, the same sponge that I was using for my foundation. And I am blending this out. So I like to bring it up to my my hairline because my face, I have a lot of cheeks. So I like to elongate my face. So I usually like curve it up around my eyebrows. And if you feel like your sponge is drying up a little bit, you can spray your face. So I feel like my sponge is drying up a little bit. So I'm going to spray my face with this Mario Badescu facial spray with, al with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. Right? And that is going to help you to continue to blend. So I like to blend out my highlight first. And then I go in with my contour. A sponge just works best for me. Um, I love a sponge. I feel like sponges give you a very airbrush look. Now I'm just going to blend up into my highlight. You don't want to pull your contour down, okay? Especially look at this little space that I have here. You can you imagine if I could if I got my contour down here, it would look ridiculous. So you want to blend it up into your highlight, your concealer shade, I should say. And don't forget. <laughs> Don't forget that jawline. I've done that before. So I put a little bit here because I want to even, you know, create a shadow here to make my neck look longer, to make my jaw look slimmer. I think that Fenty Beauty makes an amazing contour product. And I also think that no matter your skin tone, you can find a shade that will work for you. And now that they have expanded the shade range, I think it's even better. For me, I don't usually contour my forehead just because I have hyperpigmentation up there and sometimes it just looks very muddy up there so I prefer, this is my individual opinion, I prefer to bronze my forehead so I'm going to be using Mocha Mami in a second and I'm going to show you guys you know how it just like elevates the whole look. So that is nicely blended out, the one on the jawline is blended out. Okay, I don't usually contour my nose either, but if you wanted to contour your nose, you could go straight in with the Fenty Beauty, you know, because you could take a corner and just like gently put it down the side of your nose. No, you don't even have to go all the way. I usually do it from like here to here, here to here, and just create that, you know, little bit of contour in the center, right? That's all I do. So Mocha Mami. This is the darkest bronzer. And I like to actually set my contour with this. I know this is a bronzer, but I like to set my contour with this. So it gives it a nice reddish undertone, which I absolutely love. And then on the forehead. Okay. So then I'm gonna go in to set my under eye with Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder. This is in the shade Cashew. I don't bake, but I like to just press it into my skin. I like to go on the side of my nose, right? That helps with the snatchage as well, right? At this point, the sponge is not as damp because if the sponge is too damp, you're gonna be like, you're gonna get creasing under here. And we're also, we're gonna set everywhere that we put concealer. So let's set our whole mouth area, right? I just go back in with the contour brush. So I'm just going back in with the bronzer right now. 
to even everything out. Okay, so then I usually do blush. I've kind of been obsessing with Sasha blush. So this, I believe, is burnt orange. The name rubbed off from the back, so I don't even know. But I've been really obsessing with orange blush lately. So I start on my apples on my cheeks and then kind of swoop it up. Okay, loving that color. And what also came out from Fenty was a, di a new diamond balm in Konya Candy, but I didn't get it because I wasn't super, I wasn't a super fan of the other diamond balm. And I had so many highlights. I was like, girl, you do not need it. So I'm just gonna be using, hmm, what do I wanna use today? So I'm just gonna be using <laughs> trusty Becca Topaz which is like a beautiful glow from within. But it's such a nice color. I'm about to get Chocolate Geode from Becca. Oh, y'all. It's like a deeper shade to Topaz. I just can't wait. So I like to put a little bit on my cupid's bow, a little bit down the center of my nose. So I really like how that highlight looks there. Sometimes I would even just go in on the forehead, the center of my forehead and just gently highlight. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this with every highlighter, but because because Becca is not glittery, it's very smooth and buttery, I could like afford to put it on the center of my forehead and it not look crazy. Um, so I already put a little bit of mascara under my eyes to kind of complete the look. And now we're just gonna do a gloss. What I love to do with the Fenty Beauty Matte Stick is use it as a liner. And I'm gonna use glass slipper, but I'm just gonna put it on my fingers. I don't wanna turn this gloss brown, so I'm not gonna put the wand directly onto my lips. Look, that would have been inside of the gloss. No, no, no. We need to keep glass slipper pristine, okay? Don't you ever put it on your lips if you have anything else on your lip because you don't want to change the color of that. Like, just don't do it. Basically, this is the end of the Fenty face. How are we feeling about it? What do we think about my highlights and contour method? It's pretty simple, I must say. I really, really like Fenty Beauty matte sticks, the matte ones. I'm not like a super fan of the uh, shimmer ones. My final touch usually is to set my face with a powder and and this is the Iman. I always have to look to the back for every response or a blotting press powder. And I like to just kind of blend my cheeks together, right? I don't want the highlight to just be sticking out, standing out and looking blunt, right? That's my final, final step to look pristine. And yeah, that's what I usually do. Okay, so now let us move on to Body Lava. All right, so I guess I should just swatch them on my hand. Right here we have Who Needs Clothes. Right next to it we have Konya Candy, right? So y'all, right? Look at the difference. There is a big difference between these two. Who Needs Clothes is lighter, right? Konya Candy is more bronzy. So Konya Candy is a body lava, as you know, it retails for $59 and it is a sparkling copper. I'm gonna do it with a brush. <laughs> do you remember when Brianna did her little thing? This is so funny, like, I had to go back and watch my original body lava video just to see how I did it. And I was like, okay, let me do it similarly to that. And I'm just going to... and I'm using like a flat kabuki brush. Yeah, I could see in person the difference between them, but I feel like on camera, I'm having a hard time showing the difference between the two. Or maybe I could put in some footage from my very first body lava. So as we know, um, body lava is sticky, okay? And I really think why Rihanna did it like that is so that if you would go to the beach with this, it wouldn't just rinse off of your skin. So that's what I found. Like, I went to the beach, salt water. When I came out, I was still glistening. I was still luminous like this. And I really think it's because of that formula. That formula isn't gonna just rinse off in the water. Sometimes even after you shower, if you don't really scrub your skin really hard, it stays on. 
Okay, so let me show you on my arm right here. I don't even know if you guys could see that. Another thing, <laughs> I know you can't even see me, but another way that I like to use this is by adding lotion or my sunscreen, you know, putting a couple pumps in my hand and just rubbing it in. It's kind of easier to do it like that because you could just like, you know, rub it in and the lotion gives it more slip so it spreads better on your body. This one I think looks a little bit more natural on my skin. When I look into my mirror right here, it's like more natural. It doesn't look jarring or anything like that. It doesn't look out of place. It just looks like I put on some body oil with shimmer in it and I kind of like the subtle of this one a little bit more than who needs clothes. I am like dying right now. I love to do this. <laughs> Just so you can see it like in action. Oh, I didn't even show you guys the packaging. So this is the packaging comes in. Very pretty rose gold packaging. I like this packaging a lot. Same bottle, same sweet smell that we love from Body Lava. So yeah, I definitely recommend Konya Candy. Let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful for your highlight and contour needs. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, you can follow me on my social media platforms. It's Beat on Instagram and the Beat Inc. on Facebook. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you can continue watching videos thank you so much and have a great night guys bye